seems to only make sense to start with the rule change that just um, passed. Yeah. How did that all come to be in the meeting? Well, I think, uh, you know, we ended up that it's going to be in the postseason only where there's there's equity, just to kind of get the coin toss to be more of a 50-50 uh, type of deal. And uh, uh, I think that's that's the right thing. It, you know, it's... Uh, it's um, it's going to make the games uh, more equitable, and that's the idea, and that the coin toss shouldn't be as determinative as it was. So, What led to that being playoffs only as opposed to doing it in the regular season as well? I think just the sense that, 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 the, that the postseason where the stakes are that much higher, where it's, you know, you, you're out, yeah. out. Um, and uh, there were some statistics that were, were shown to us that, that the uh, equity was a lot more skewed in the postseason. So this kind of uh, will level it out. We haven't talked to you since the hiring, so I guess to go back a little bit, um, how do you look at everything that's happened um, so far through free agency? Well, we're, we're really excited. Um, you know, first with the hiring of Quasi and, and then and Kevin, um, I can I can certainly tell you that um, they work so great together. Uh, there's a great camaraderie, collaboration, communication, and uh, we've been very strategic. <clears throat> and uh, intentional in terms of uh, and disciplined in how we're approaching free agency. So we made, I think, a lot of great additions. Uh, certainly uh, the defensive side of the ball, um, which um, we, we need to be better at. And uh, we have some great base there as far as the kind of talent we have. And we, we need to, to build around it. So while we have a certain number of stars, uh, we need to make it a little more more depth to the roster on that side of the ball and of course some additions on the offense as well and again it's strategic and disciplined approach so I've been very impressed with uh, their working relationship so far. Quasi mentioned the discipline part too and not just chasing after you know any free agent are you so I guess there haven't been major drastic changes to the roster is that um, okay in your eyes or how do you look at that? Well, you know, it depends what you say by drastic, uh, or I'm not sure what that exactly refers to. We've really had a lot of players uh, that we've picked up here um, that are going to be very helpful to the roster. We're, of course, going to build through the draft as well. So, uh, And also uh, some restructures we did and some extensions we did with some of our key players that we have allowed us the flexibility to do that. So all of that combines, and, and we as ownership, our job and our role, and we've, we've told uh, Quasi and, and Kevin and uh, everyone in the building knows we're going to provide whatever resources are necessary to maximize our competitiveness. So, uh, And I, we have a lot of trust and confidence in Quasi, Kevin, Rob Brzezinski, all our football operations, our, our scouts, our personnel folks. So, uh, uh, again, we're, we're excited. You mentioned the, some of the restructures and extensions. The, the extension for Kirk specifically, what went into the decision to do that versus just letting him play it out and seeing what happens after this year? Yeah, well, obviously, like any negotiation, you know, Kirk's an excellent player at the quarterback position, which is so critical. And uh, when Quasi and, and Kevin took a look at it and, and they had conversations with us as well, there, there was a back and forth, and, and, and that extension uh, gives us the flexibility in this year uh, to be able to do more. And I think um, I have a lot of confidence, and I know Kevin does, that uh, we're going to build a great offense around him. We already have so many great weapons and tools on the offense, and with Kirk, we can really we can really uh, go far. How much did that relationship between Kevin and Kirk that already exists yeah. factor into the decision you guys made there? I think it's a big determinant. Uh, he's our head coach. Um, he, he he's he's worked a lot with quarterbacks. He understands the position. He understands Kirk. They understand each other. They know each other. That communication and that feeling of comfort that you know. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get even better play out of not just the quarterback position but the entire offense. So that certainly plays into it. I know you talked about wanting to remain competitive and not go through um, you know kind of a downstretch. But I guess what are you looking for in in 2022, or what are your kind of goals for the team? Our, our goals are the same as every year, and I think, like I said, I'm more excited than, than, than ever that we can really compete at the highest levels here. Of course, winning the division is first and foremost our goal, and, and from there, that's where you get into the dance and, and anything can happen, and that's where we want to be. So, um, like I said, um, this is a uh, – you can label it a million different ways, but we have a lot of great players on our roster. And I think when we went through the process with hiring a GM, hiring a head coach, I think we were an attractive team for that reason. 
because we have that base. But we have to build around it, and there's always evolution and and uh, and change. And I, I, now that free agency is, you know, we're always looking. But now we're, we're coming off of this meeting. We're going to be heading towards draft, and uh, we know there's going to be a lot of talent there to help us as well. When you're going through that process, is there ever a point where you sit there and say, at least consider somewhat seriously the idea of let's kind of get younger, dismantle some of the roster, get draft picks, accumulate cap space, all that kind of stuff. Is that a scenario that you guys thought about at all, or is it was that not something that you looked at terribly seriously? Again, from our standpoint, without getting into all the all the weeds on on, on all that, you know, a lot of confidence in Quasi and Kevin to be strategic and disciplined on that, and that's that's part of it. Do you do, do which which route do you go? And uh, again, some of the restructures allowed us some flexibility there. So whatever cap pressures we might have had, um, you know, we were able to deal with it and get us to the point where we feel really good about the pieces we can add around it. And again, I'm personally uh, feeling really good about the defensive additions we made. Um, we have a lot of um, great core players, people like Harrison and Eric and Donnell and and others I'm sure I'm missing, but uh, we have a nucleus there. And to build around it with free agency and draft combined, uh, it's a combination in the end. Um, you can't say it's either this or that. It's about strategic discipline and seeing where the strengths are in the draft and where the strengths are in free agency. And the bottom line for us is we feel great about the hires. Kwesi and Kevin are really working so well together, and the whole building feels it. Uh, the scouts, the great coaching staff we've put together. I'm sure you've gotten to spend some time with some of the folks, and uh, we really feel good about where, it's, where it is now uh, two months out. A few years ago, one of these, we talked to you about your interest in potentially one day um, hosting the Combine or a draft or something like that. I know the draft's been awarded through 24, and um, the Combine had three finalists and, and whatnot, but looking kind of as a 10-year plan, is that still a goal at all, or, or what do you envision for the Vikings in terms of those events? Well, I think we proved it at Super Bowl uh, that we hosted a few years ago that uh, Minneapolis, uh, the Twin Cities, the state of Minnesota really can host the big events. We had Final Four, and this is no different. So um, we're certainly, we've expressed to the league that uh, over the uh, future here, we'd like to potentially host a draft. Uh, we think it'd be a very exciting uh, situation. I know our, our neighbors in the north in Detroit were awarded the 24 draft, so certainly we've expressed our interest. Uh, we understand there's a process to it, and uh, whether it's draft, combine, or any of the big events, I know our business community, our fans, uh, everyone is so great at these big events, and we can pull it off, and we're going to keep pushing for those things. Have you guys put in formal bids beyond the 2024, 2025 for any of those events? Uh, not as of, as of right now. I think the window for 25, 26, I think they're, they're kind of set in that framework. But certainly as soon as the process beyond those years opens up, we're going to certainly re-express re, uh, re our, our interest. Um, I know you and Rick had a good relationship and talked, yeah, I think he said, every day. Are you kind of building that with Quasi now? Are you guys talking every day? Or what's it been like to, you know, for the first time in more than a decade, have a new kind of point person that you're working with? Yeah, well, certainly such such great respect for Rick and uh, uh, the professional uh, he has been for the Vikings, really put his imprint on our football operation. And, and what a great uh, legacy he, he, he leaves the Vikings. And, you know, now with Quasi, we have um, certainly a, a great relationship. And as ownership, uh, we don't meddle, but we certainly want to be aware of what's going on. And I do have a regular communication with Quasi and Coach O'Connor and uh, O'Connell, and uh, it's it's uh, it's going smooth. So we're going to keep plugging, keep keep working um, to maximize our ability to give the fans what we're all dreaming of. Anything else? The meetings or anything that's worth touching on? Um, I, I will say, uh, as far as the, as the meetings, it's good to be back in person. And uh, when you look back, for certainly for Vikings fans, um, we're very proud of our organization and how we've done our part uh, through this pandemic, whether it's working with the governor on in U.S. Bank and, uh, uh, you know, even in our own staff to, to get through this. Um, there's been a lot of sacrifice, a lot of... Um, People have suffered through this pandemic in a personal and very real, real way, and uh, 
you know, providing entertainment at the Vikings, being part of the community to help people get vaccinated or, or get certain messages out. Um, we're, we're, we're hopeful that things hopefully will, are improving, and uh, we're excited in 21 that the fans came back, and we're certainly looking forward to a great 22. The new uh, diversity initiatives that the league announced yesterday, what, I guess, went into the thought process of we need to make that in a position on the offensive staff specifically where you're adding a new coach of a, either a female or somebody of a diverse background this year? I think statistically uh, there's a sense that um, – Minority coaching candidates were pr pretty much coming uh, there's at the coordinator level, which is typically a platform for head coaches, a significantly large representation in defensive coordinator positions versus offensive. So I think this initiative is to create a larger pool um, of offensive minority candidates that could be a potential for head coaching. It's to, to try to improve the numbers at the head coaching level. And uh, there seems to be a trend. And, I guess we're part of it where a lot of offensive coaches uh, get elevated to head coaches. I don't know all the numbers, but there didn't seem to be the, 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 the there seemed to be an imbalance uh, on the offensive side, and that's, that's kind of where they came out to, to promote that with this proposal.